Hello, this is a video tutorial for Midas NFX. In this tutorial, I will show you how to perform a linear blockchain analysis in the analysis mode of Midas NFX. So I will use a skin model with some stickers and show you how to perform the blockchain and see the deformed shape and the different modes of the model. Let's go first into Midas NFX. So this is the announcement and let's import the CAD model. So here it's a step model, so I choose the step file type and I click on it. Now that I have my model, uh, I will first hide the grid and uh, the axis plane. And what I will do is to mesh this model first. So go in the tab mesh, choose 3D mesh, and here you have a small tab for the map solid. So check this. First we will mesh the central part. So uh, enter a size of 5 for the, the mesh. Enter a name, uh, skin, and click on apply. Now we will mesh the five stiffness of the model. So first we have to select these five stiffness. Uh, we will use the same size and call it stiffness. Apply. Okay. Now, now that I have meshed my model, the next step is to assign some material to this model. For that, click on material and create a new isotropic material. You have the choice of a lot of material in the database. Just choose the AISI1020 and click on OK. Now, in the Announce mode, you have to assign property to your mesh. For that, click on the property icon and as you already meshed your model, select the mesh number one which corresponds to the mesh of your model and click on modify. Now you can enter a name. Here I will just left 3D property. Select the material you just created and click on OK. Close. Now I have assigned my property to the mesh. Next step is to assign some constraints to this model. So let's click on static heat analysis tab and select constraints. Here we have first to uh, give it a name, so just call it BC and call also BC the boundary set. For the type of the constraint choose face and choose the bottom face of the model. Face. Okay. One. and um, just pin this face. Okay. Now select again constraints and click on the advanced tab. Give it the name BC2. Choose the tab face and choose the two faces here. Of the model. You can zoom using the roll of the mouse. And check the translation TX and TY. Now just click on OK to apply these constraints to these two bodies of your model. Now we'll apply a force to the model. So call it impression. Um, call also the load set compression. Now for the type of the load, we'll choose also face and we will select the upper face. Uh, for the value, in the Z direction, give the value minus 10,000 and click on OK. To 
define the load. Mm, now we still have to make the contact between the parts. For that, in the static heat, an and heat analysis tab, click on Auto Contact and select all the parts of your model. Check the contact type welded. Verify that you have six objects selected. Uh, and for the searching distance, uncheck Auto and enter the value 0 0.1. Now, click on OK. So the contact has been assigned. To verify, you can go in the Model tab, open the Contacts window, and click on each contact to view on the screen the contacts. So here, uh, all the five contacts have been assigned. Now, the next step is to create an analysis case. So go in the Analysis and Results tab and click on General. Enter the name Buckling, and for the solution, solution type, select Linear Buckling. Now you can click on Eigenvalue here, and click on Subcase Control option. We will only analyze five modes, and please check also the option Term Sequence Check. Click on OK, OK. And now you can launch the analysis. Perform, OK. Save your model. And now the solo is working and will give you the answer in a few seconds. OK. So it took 20 seconds to make the analysis. Now if you view the results in the Analysis and Results tab, you can check the eigenvalues here by double-clicking on it. You will be able to see the eigenvalues for all the five modes uh, you have chosen and uh, some more details about all these values. Close this window, and you can view the modes of buckling by double-clicking on each mode. And it's possible also to view the animation. Now, if you want to see the linear static analysis, click here on Total Displacement and you will be able to view the linear analysis. So you have the deform shape and the other form shape, so you can compare the results. Okay, this was a video tutorial for MyDasNFX. Thank you very much for watching.